Hello everyone, today we're going to do a tutorial on Robjack speed and feed calculator. So first go to robjack.com and right here on the home screen you can see we have our Robjack speed and feed software so click on that. Then you'll need to sign in to the program. If this is your first time you're going to need to click on sign up. If you already have a username and password you can just enter it in there but we'll show you the sign up portion. So on the sign up portion, uh, you only have to do this the first time, but there'll be a couple of fields that you need to fill in. First, you're going to have to enter in your username. Uh, your username is usually going to be your email address, so go ahead and enter that in. And go ahead and enter your first name uh, in there, your last name, your email address, uh, company name, and uh, the various other fields. Once you've entered in the data, go ahead and read the user agreement and privacy policy, agree to them, and sign up. And you only have to do this uh, the first time. I'll have to enter in my password. And this is a password that you create. Alright, and then when you do sign up, it's going to go ahead and send you an email confirmation. If you don't get that email confirmation, go ahead and give us a call at Robjack or send an email to it at robjack.com and just let them know you didn't get your email confirmation and we'll go ahead and fix that for you. I'm not going to submit this because I already have a username, but I'm going to go into login. So I'll go in here, put my password in. So once you get into here, you can see we have it split up in two sections. We have the end mill section and the saw section. Today we're going to focus on end mills, but we'll do another video on the saw settings. Uh, so here you can see you can enter in a metric or inch, so we would switch it to kilowatts instead of horsepower, but you can enter in your machine information. The beauty of it is once you enter it in once, you can actually go up here and save your information uh, under the machine name. So in my example, I'm going to say we're going to use our Mori. Since I already entered it in one time, it defaults with all this data so I don't have to enter it in every time. So I have a 30 horsepower machine, 14,000 RPM, uh, 1,000 inch per minute feed rate. So for our example first, we'll go ahead and do a half inch tool going half inch depth let's do three quarters of an inch and here you have your choice you can do slotting or profiling rigid or weak fixturing uh, what type of tool like a ball end or a square end or corner radius and then uh, tricordal type of machining or traditional type so let's go ahead and uh, put tricordal type machining and we're going to do a profile type of cut and here you have uh, categories of material or you can just keep it at show all types and then it'll give you an alphabetical list of all the different kinds of materials that we have in there so we have quite an extensive list if you don't find your material in there a lot of times you can just cross reference it with a similar material uh, but we we've added a lot of materials in there. So we'll go ahead and pick 6061 T6 aluminum. We'll go ahead and submit this. And here, because we picked the tricordal type cutting, it picked the same tool for roughing as fin and finishing. So it's a three flute tool. What the beauty of this also is you can click on click and get more details. So it gives you the cutting diameter, the uh, specifications, the tolerances, but it gives you the RPM, the surface footage, so it recommended 14,000 RPM, which is max RPM, and 420 inches per minute. It says it's going to remove about 78.75 cubic inches per minute, and it's going to pull about 20 horsepower. We have spindle curves and other types of safety features built into this so you don't have to worry about maxing out your horsepower. 
Uh, and so here's the roughing speeds and feeds, and here's the finishing speeds and feeds. And here we'll go ahead and do another example and show you uh, what you can do with other types of materials. So here is an example. Let's go ahead and pick, instead of 6061, we'll go ahead and pick titanium. And let's see, we'll go a 6AL4V titanium. Click on it and submit. We'll go ahead and keep everything the same, tricordal cutting. Because we're tricordal, you can see it recommends a six flute for roughing. And this six flute is gonna rough the titanium at 400 surface footage. Uh, and a feed rate of 73.3 inches per minute at a 10% step over, 50 thousandths with the uh, half inch tool and uh, the full depth in one pass. And you can do the same thing, see the details of the six flute tool, what tool would be the best for that application. And, but let's go ahead and switch it from tricordal to uh, a normal type of programming. Instead of the high efficiency tool pass, the tricordal cuts, this will be the more traditional type of cut. And we'll say we're going to be doing slotting or heavy profiling. And when we submit it, now it changes it to a four flute tool. So when we see the details, it knows what type of cutting you're doing and it will change the parameters. So instead of the 73 inches per minute, now it's more in the traditional 200 surface footage, 11 inch per minute feed rate uh, to accommodate the type of uh, cutting tool path we put in there. So there's our speed and feed software. Just remember these speeds and feeds are uh, Robjack centric, so they are uh, taking into account the geometries and things that we have on the tool. So if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at Robjack. We'd love to help you out and have a good day. Talk to you later.